So I recently upgraded the SSD in my PC, but I didn't want to deal with reinstalling all of my programs and software, and I didn't want to deal with resetting up Windows. So I ended up using this program called Aomi Cloner. Now they were kind enough to send over a key for me to use for this video, but the views and opinions of their software are going to be completely mine, and they're not paying me to say anything, nor are they able to preview this video before it has been uploaded to YouTube. Now that we got all that out of the way, I wanna to talk to you about the software. So this is gonna work only on Windows. They do offer a variant of this software under a different name for Mac. Now at the time of making this video, it costs roughly $59 for a lifetime license. So there's no subscriptions. They do have a trial version, but I do believe that the trial version is limited into what it can do or how many times you can do something. So take that into consideration depending on what your needs are. But I wanna walk through what the actual software will do for you, and then we're gonna actually try and clone my Windows partition on my drive over to a different drive, and then we're gonna see if we can boot off of that clone drive. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the PC and we'll start checking it out. This is what the website looks like where you're gonna to need to download the software. You can do that by just selecting the download now button that is in blue in the lower left-hand corner here. I will put a link down in the video description for everybody that will take you directly to this page. And then once you've clicked the download button, it'll start downloading and you'll see that in the upper right-hand corner of your web browser. Once it's complete, all you need to do is select open file. And then I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my web browser here so we can see what we're doing. And then we're just gonna walk through all the prompts. So my my language is English, so I'm just going to click OK. And then you're basically just going to click Next and Install Now and all of the little prompts that it's going to give you that will walk you through actually installing the software. It's really easy. So as long as you're OK with the destination where it's going to install it, we can just select Install Now. And then from there, it's going to go ahead and just load everything up. Now, once it's done installing, you will get a pop-up on your web browser where they're going to try and actually sell you some stuff. You can just go ahead and close it or minimize it unless you're interested in purchasing this or another piece of software from the company. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to close this for now. And then we're going to go ahead and just hop into what the program actually looks like once we get it loaded up. Now you'll see that it has a really simple user interface. So you have system clone if you just want to clone the Windows system and nothing else on your hard drive. You have disk clone if you want to clone the entire SSD or hard drive. Or if you just want to select a partition on your drive, you have partition clone. And then if we go to tools, you'll be able to see that you can make a bootable USB here. Now, if you do want to upgrade this or purchase the software, or if you've already purchased it and you have a key, you're going to click that upgrade button here in the upper right hand corner. And then there's a link here in the lower left, and that's where you're going to actually input the key. And then once you actually register it, you will see that the upgrade button in the upper right hand corner of the software then goes away. So now I just wanna walk you through what it looks like if we were gonna do each one of these, but I'm not actually gonna do each one of them. So we're gonna start with disk clone. So if we go ahead and select that, it's then gonna ask you for the source disk. So that's the disk that you want to actually clone. So you can just pick any drive if you have more than one drive, or if you only have one, then you're gonna select the drive that you wish to clone. And then from there, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and select your destination disk. Now your destination disk is the drive that you're gonna be cloning to. And so more than likely it's gonna be the blank drive or the drive that you've just installed or you know, I don't know your setup, it's gonna be different than mine, but you're gonna pick that disc and then you're gonna go ahead and click next here in the lower right hand corner. It does give you a little warning here at the bottom and it gives you another warning here in the pop-up basically saying, hey, this is irreversible. The drive is gonna be deleted. And once you select okay, and then this thing's gonna take off and it's gonna go ahead and start all of the cloning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click cancel and then we're gonna walk through the next one. So if we were to go ahead and instead of selecting disk clone, we selected partition clone, it works very similar. So you're gonna select the source partition on your drive. And then once you've picked that, you'll just select next in the lower right hand corner. And then from there, it's gonna ask you to select the destination drive or partition that you wish to clone to. And then you're gonna get the exact same pop-up 
and it's going to give you the warning where, hey, you can't undo anything that you've done here. And if we select OK, then it's going to start the cloning process. So I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. So now that we know everything that the software will do for you, I want to do something that's a little bit different. So it's really easy to do a one-to-one -one copy and just clone your entire drive. But what if you wanted to start fresh and you didn't want to copy all of your apps and all your stuff over, but you didn't want to deal with the hassle of reinstalling Windows? Well, I'm going to try and use the software to do just a system copy and we're going to see if it's going to just pick the files for me and it's just going to work or if I have to pick the files manually. And the most important piece is regardless of which way we go, after it's done copying all that stuff over or cloning it, will the drive boot? So we're going to go ahead and check that out now. So now I put a brand new SSD here in my test bench, but it's not recognized by my PC because it's brand new. It's never been formatted. So I need to go into disk management here really quickly, and we need to make sure that we get the drive initialized and that we get the unallocated space actually formatted and partitioned correctly. So I'm going to do this really quick. I'm not going to walk through a big long explanation here. And then once we get that done, we'll hop back into the software and I will show you what you need to do if you wanted to actually clone just your system. All right, so we got that finished. I'm going to go ahead and get back into AOMI Cloner and we're going to select a system clone here at the top. And it's interesting because the first thing that it's asking us to do now is to select our destination partition or drive. So it's basically saying, where do you want the cloned files to go to, which is the exact opposite of what we did for all the other options. All the other options had you choosing the source first and the destination second. So don't get that mixed up when you do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my new blank drive and select next. And look, this is interesting. So it already found my Windows partitions on my drive. It scanned all my drives and it selected the Windows partitions. Now I'd be interested to see what this would do if you had more than one version of Windows on different drives or different partitions, but I don't. So it went ahead and found them and it has everything set up for you here. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna select SSD alignment because I am cloning from an SSD to an SSD, but I'm not gonna select the sector by sector because that's just gonna take a lot longer to clone everything. So if everything looks good for you here, you can go ahead and select start clone. And then I'm not gonna make you watch this. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just speed it up and I'll be back as soon as this is done. So that actually didn't take very long at all. Uh, so it took about five minutes or so to do the entire cloning piece for just my Windows partition. And so now I wanna go in and just take a look at my actual hard drives and see what the setup looks like now that we have two drives that can be theoretically bootable into Windows. And you'll see that we have two of them here that are called local disk. Now there's only one C drive and that's because that's the drive we're booted off of. And I would bet that if we reboot off of the clone drive, that would then in turn be the C drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna do a quick reboot and then I'm gonna select the clone drive manually and then we'll see if we can boot into Windows. Now you'll notice on my boot options, I now have more than one drive that is listed as having an actual Windows bootloader or Windows boot manager. And so my main drive is the one that's listed here at the top that is the four terabyte drive. And then the clone drive that we just installed was is the one here at the bottom that says Windows boot manager. And so we're gonna go ahead and select the one at the bottom and then we're just gonna see if this thing will boot. I should note that this is loading in real time so I haven't sped anything up for the video. Now it does look like it booted perfectly fine so I'm gonna go ahead and try and actually log into my account and then we'll see what the hard drive configuration looks like and just see how usable the actual drive is since in theory it doesn't have anything installed on it except for Windows, which is what we wanted. So now that we got it logged in and that seems to be working properly, I'm just gonna open up my file explorer here and then I'm just gonna take a look at the hard drive configuration to see if we still have two local disks. And it looks like we don't, which is really interesting. So we only have one drive labeled as local disk and that's the C drive because that's the drive we booted off of. But if you remember when we cloned, I could see both drives. And so I'm gonna go into disk manager real quick and I'm just gonna see if the drive is still recognized by my computer. 
And it looks like it is, but what's interesting is for some reason it just didn't mount the drive. And so if we take a look here, it is listed as disk two. Now I do have a four terabyte drive here. That's my main drive. It is partitioned out. I allocated one terabyte to Windows and then I have some other operating systems and stuff on here. But you'll see that all the other drives are assigned a drive letter. And for some reason it didn't assign it a drive letter on boot. And I'm wondering if that's so that it doesn't conflict with which drive it should be using as the native boot drive. But if we were to go ahead and mount this, I'd be able to access all of my files. All right, so let's talk about the software. For me personally, it did everything that I needed it to do, and I didn't have any issues with it cloning the drive. It didn't take very long, and the drive that I cloned was bootable first try. So for me, it was good to go. Now, for your use case, that may or may not be the issue. You're just gonna have to check out the trial and see if it's gonna work for you. Now I'm gonna put a link down in the video description. So if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be there for you. If you have any issues while you're using the software, if you have any questions about something I may have missed, hit me up down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that's about all I got for this video. So if you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.